Hello everybody, welcome back. Patents Best by Avalon Hill. I redid the module that I found on Vassal because I had very, a lot of difficulty um, reading that one. And um, so I just redid it my way. Uh, everything's a little bigger. I used the uh, art that I found. And um, so we come in at 63%. Um, but 100% is right there. As you can see, it's quite an eyeful. And you'll be able to get in right in there and see everything. 67% should be good, though. Got no trouble reading down here. Put an arrow to keep, help you keep track of where you're at. Do that with everything. Um, the pieces you need should all be up here. Uh, every piece has a um, a spawnable. Um, you can't use the U.S. control to to spawn out. Separate that, of course, and then put your lights and mediums out there. Or you can just go ahead and clone these and stick them out when you're gone. These will clone into these will go into U.S. control when they're done. Also, exit area, entry area. Uh, you just set them according to the, to the setup. Uh, your dice rolls, um, charts, I've made all them bigger. They come in at 66, 63% also, just so you can have plenty of big in there, just for guys like me, like me that can't read as well as we used to. Uh, I did the same thing with the, after the uh, combat calendar. This is a drag and drop, so you're just going to drag that to where your things are. I didn't do anything special with it. I know some of them I made move, but not this one. We're just good old drag and drop. Just kind of remind you where you're at on the combat calendar. Um, after action report, um, I only put one in here because the rest of them all seem to take up a lot of space. A lot of, um, and you, with the, uh, you know, you got a, what, 250 limit to upload into Vassal. And um, besides, this little button right here you don't need all these different after, after action reports all you need is a good wipe out button and we have one of those so um when you're done your mission at the end of the day just create a screenshot of it um i will use a i actually use a games i call it maybe in a subfolder there put your um aar aars And I just made that mission one. And then if you go look up mission one, actually I didn't rename it as a um, PNG, but you see they come out and will we'll have the same effect, all the information you have in there. So uh, there's absolutely really no reason to keep the all those different uh, logs so I, I just minimize it to one and left you a nice little capture you got the capture button in there anyway no sense having to wade through all those just rename the proper mission do call them PA, pngs they're supposed to be pngs um you got your date and all this all you got to do is right or left click on it to bring up the uh the information um actually if you right click on it you'll get the menu for clearing it if you left click on it, you'll just go straight to enter and it did. Uh, I made buttons on this so it's easier to enter all the information in. Some things are dra uh, drag, uh, dra <laughs> drop list um, selections. Um, I made this one so it barely fits the biggest ones. So you'll see they're smaller, but that's all drag and drop. Okay, we can clear that out to clear the back situation. You get that off of your campaign calendar over here, the A3L. Uh, weather, you roll for that, you can go rank, uh, dra uh, drop down list, uh, name, uh, you just stick your own name in there. Um, rate, rating, uh, I have, oh boy, I know I fixed that, and here we are still. Uh, I know what I forgot to do. We're going to fix that right now. Nope, I can't. Because I already got it open. Uh, I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. All right, we should be good now. Um, I have those direct. Uh, you can either select the rate on the drop down list. I say we're a seven, and then you can also just increase the list. List that goes up to, I 
think 10 is the best you can get, so I leveled it out there. I can always change that later if I want to read into the rules. I can remind myself of anything. Next thing is the time. Um, it's quite easy. We can reset the month. That's going to give you your current um, sunset and sunrise times. And then you can just go ahead and start adding in minutes. Um, that'll work automatically. I like to do that. I did the same thing for wooden ships and iron men. Um, it seems to work out well. It took me a while to figure out how to do that because I am no computer guy. I'm a mechanic by trade. So I do everything the hard way. Um, when you're done, just hit clean up and all this goes back to default. Like I said, uh, notes, uh, being as I clicked over there, you got 14 slots for notes. Your ammo, you're just using the ammo or reloading. When you clear at the end of the game, it'll reload all these back up to max. I don't have the main gun ammo set that way because of all the variations in, in um, models and um, loadouts that you may want to do. So you're just going to do your loadout every time. Say I want 65 um, HE, maybe I want uh, 30, 30 AP and two Willie Pete in there. Um, I would really use more Willie Pete than I think I usually like to carry around 10 of them or so. Um, you put that in and then just start using the ammo as you go along. All right, again, that's everything's right click or left click. Right click, you get the full menu. Um, left click, if there's a if there's a drop down menu or something, you'll 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 skip the menu. And just go straight to the action. Some things where there's a menu, you're going to get that menu either way. Reset that all goes down here. VP is the next thing. Um, it's very important with these multipliers that you select one of the buttons up here that I have, Advanced Battle or, or uh, Counterattack. Um, we were in Advanced, so I'm going to hit Advanced. You'll see it highlights the correct scenario down here for you. And that's going to make your VPs get assigned right. Um, so with this, uh, we're going to knock out a German uh, unit. Let's go on a Counterattack for this one, just so you can see. Um, we're going to knock out a counter. I'd say we knock out a light weapons. We get a go for your tank because I want to show everything. It'll select one for here, so you knocked out one weapon. Your victory points will go up two because you for your tank go up two because you're on scenario C. And then over here on the main board, I have the campaign VP that'll go up to one. You don't get these modifiers for your your tank's campaign VP count towards promotion and stuff. So. Uh, very important that everything works properly. You select each day which battle you're in. Make sure you have one of these highlighted. Um, they will all work. It will automatically say we knocked out a King Tiger too. Um, we're going to knock that in there. And that didn't. Of course it didn't. I'm trying to show it off. It did not update my totals. It did when I was testing it earlier. Friendly. Nope. Something broke. Something broke. It's doing the campaign VP, all right. It's not doing these. I'm going to pause this again and fix that. I'll be right back. All right. That should fix it. I went in somehow and copied the wrong um, calculated property in for each of them. So we're going to be on a counterattack. Make sure we have a counterattack set. We should be getting times two. We take out a machine gun with our tank. We get a two down here, one there. And a one over here. Say so we knock out a armored car. Get one there. We got six here. We got three over here. They take out a Panzer King Panther. And now we're up to 30 here and a 15 over there. So you see, it's very important to have that marked right for all these to calculate properly, especially once I get it in there. And I've got to change that campaign VP too, because that should not be resetting, and it is. So I thought I fixed that. Hmm. Yeah, these flaws they always tend to show up when I'm doing a how-to, because I do it on one computer and I get to the next, and maybe it didn't update the file, correct file or some. I don't know. I guess I'm not a computer person, so I end up getting blindsided by stuff that worked when I tested it. Now it's not. That's all right. 
we adapt, we overcome. I just go in and order and control R that should not be reset. Should not be resetting. Unless I have them in here as resetting. That's what I gotta double check. That's what we gotta double check. See, there's so many things in here. You think you got it right? Yep, right there. We don't want that in there. So I gotta go through and click all that off of all the master vps i do not want that resetting unless i come up here onto the main board that i didn't test that's on me i assumed i did it right didn't realize when i was happily copying and pasting everything that i had everything working that I was copying and pasting a command in there I didn't want. That's alright, there's not too many of them. One more. That should do it. Now let's see what we got here. I have to close this out and start a new one. So it takes that change. Go over here, let's K let's get ourselves a counterattack, knock out a panzer. Or I mean a King Tiger. We got 24, 1, and down here we should have now 12. And we do. And if we clear that, these clear, that does not. That's what we're looking for. All right. So um, back to business. Um, the negatives down here, same thing. Um, they will not affect your campaign because the negatives are all for. Actually, I've got to make that tank affect the campaign because. Losing a losing your friendly tank and is a problem for you. So you got to you're at least points for that. I will make that one happen. Um, notes, decorations. You got uh, 14 slots for notes, three for decorations. I think that's everything for the after action report. Counters. I have that floatable, so you can just grab whatever you want. Um, most of what you need is on the board or accessible through the counters. It's with most of my um, most of my uh, modules, just right click on everything to see what kind of menus you're given. Um, these here, you bring them out once you spot them. It would make out a pack 43. That's why I said you may want to undo. I mean, you may want to clone all this. Yeah, it's not going to do that for me. That's all right. You may want to clone these so you don't have to keep drawing down the counters, but it's easy enough to use the counters if you need to. I'd rather have that than the message up here and you're deleting them all anyway. So, um, a bear mob that was a 88 black 88. There we go. Um, Battle board, start area, exit area, task force, task cars, so you can set out your artillery support, airstrike, U.S. control. You can clone these or use U.S. control and select off of air, light, medium, heavy, as you're choosing the areas that you're, you're um, finding out the resistance for. So, like I said, most counters should be in there. It is now easier to read down here. You don't have to have good eyes. I don't. And I put an arrow here so you can kind of cycle through to remember where you're at because you're like me. You forget things. Um, over here, click anywhere. Click on the hatches for the hatch menu. Open hatch. Close hatch. Uh, all the orders for the various guys. I think I have them all in there. If not, I'll find them. They will be in there. Uh, the rounds left. Nothing special here. You're going to move them by hand. you got to do a little work. I'm not going to do it all for you. HVSS is up here. I'm not sure where that really uh, goes to, so I left that movable. Um, I guess we can find another tank. Uh, all you got to do to find the next tank is to hold the shift key 
and click down here and choose the next tank. So we're going to have an M46 deal, which is the M481. So everything's still on here, all your hatches. Uh, the HVSS, they don't have it. I, uh, let's see if we can grab one that does have it. There we go. No, no HVSS. So he would have no HVSS like that. I mean, it's um, not perfectly aligned. I left it move. There's a little work involved for you guys. See, it's not all going to line up perfectly because the tank cards don't line up perfectly. So I didn't lock these in like I do most of my menu ones uh, for that sole reason. I would recommend against deleting them. Uh, you can draw them out over here off the counters again, though. Again, the campaign BP is up here. This is at 63%. So if you want to go to 100%, everything's a little clearer. You just can't see as much. Um, I thought there's something else I wanted to draw upon here. And I can't remember. Basically, I think that's it. You guys know the game. Um, my version has the rules in it, but I'm not going to have... Actually, I didn't load it in on this this version yet. I, I do an extension on all mine, so I have the... Uh, so I have the... Uh, I lost my train of thought. That's what I get. See, this is what happens when you try to multitask and you can't. I'm talking to my brother, and I just completely spaced off what I was saying there. Um, you guys know how to play it. I do keep rules and everything in my modules just by making an extension. So when I distribute them, it's easy enough to keep them out. Um, out on hill, these are all sold, so there's no problem putting, as far as I know, there's no problem putting all the charts in there. The one I just uh, remade had all the charts in it, so I just did the exact same thing. Um, so, like, I make them for Compass, and I've made some for Flying Pig, and I've made some for GMT, and I've made some for, um, I forget who else now. you got to leave some stuff out, because you can't give away free games. Um, there you have it. Patton's best. Oldie but goodie. Um, nothing else to show, I think. So I'll go ahead and end the video there. That's how to play this. This how to play video will be up there in the help menu. Under, um, in here it'll say uh, Patton's best how to play. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We will see you later. Have a great night.